Hey everybody, how you doing on this fine evening or morning or whatever it is for you? This is Buddy Blackford and we're going to be learning more in Photoshop CS6 and today we're going to create our own customized user interface. So you can either stick with the whole user interface here that Photoshop already has or you can like add some color and flair and create your own which is unique because not a lot of whole pro not a lot of programs allow you to do that. So let's go up here into window up here in the menus click on it let's go down here to workspace then keyboard shortcuts and menus click on that and make sure you're on the menus tab there's a shortcut keyboard shortcuts tab and then there's a menus tab so we don't want to mess with the original one that they have here so we're going to create a new set based off of what we already have so this button right here does that for us and it's um, creating a new set based on the current set of menus. So let's click on that and then we can save this under the menu customization and I'm just gonna save this as tutorial and you can save yours as whatever you want obviously so make sure you have tutorial selected as your set view menu 4 and then we got our panel menus and then our application menus. So let's twirl down the drop down menu for let's say file now we get to uh, change the visibility of some of the things that are in there and we get to change the color so what I'm gonna do I'm not I'm gonna change the color of let's say open we'll change that to like an orange I'm gonna hit OK real quick and then if I come here to file you can see that open is an orange which is pretty neat let's go back to our um, menus panel. Now I can toggle the visibility and I'm sure that you guys know that that will basically turn off the menu in within your menu I guess or turn off the item within your menu so be careful when you're toggling the visibility so you don't completely forget about something especially if you like have a filter that you want to mess with. Let me uh, close this up and let's go to the filters and say you, you you never use this um, surface blur so you want to turn it off so it's not cluttering well just remember that you turned it off because of uh, if you ever have to come back for some reason and use surface blur or you're watching a tutorial where he uses surface blur then um, you definitely know that it's uh, you just definitely remember that it's still there and not like some problem with your computer so um, let's keep going so once once we have our menu customized and you have done everything that you want to change the colors and change the visibility of everything we're gonna come up here to this button here and it's called save all changes so click on that and it saves it and then you notice that when it the modified uh, um, text went away so let me uh, make another change and I'll show you what I mean now it says tutorial modified. Once I save it, save all the changes, the modify goes away. That's how you know that you're saved. Then if you get sick and you mess up, or you get sick of it and you mess up and you don't want to use this set anymore, just come over here to delete and you can delete the current set of menus. And it's gone. And now it's back to the Photoshop defaults. So hit OK. And uh, that's all there is to uh, customizing your own menus pretty easy so thanks for watching this uh, quick tip and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial see you guys later